Hey guys, welcome into Con Expo Con Ag 2023. We are here at the massive 70,000 square foot Caterpillar booth here at the show, enjoying some of the sunshine here at the show. I'm here with John Thomas, call him JT. Yep. Uh, JT is a product application specialist for, for chargers within Caterpillar's electric power division. We're here at the sustainability hub of the Caterpillar booth um, here at Con Expo. And John, what we have behind us is one of the amazing examples of, uh, of the, what you guys are working on in terms of trying to puzzle out electrification, how to make sure that customers can adopt this technology without missing a beat. Tell us about that, where we are in the grand scheme of things. You guys have also four electric machine prototypes here. You guys unveiled that at Bama. And so we kind of have the whole kind of look at the future here, right. but on the charging side in particular, what are some of the biggest concerns that customers have been voicing and what are the things that you guys are working on? Yeah, we've had some great conversations already this week and it's it very similar concerns to the EV passenger market. In the EV passenger market, it's range anxiety. Yep. It's operation time anxiety here, right? So number one question about these battery electric machine prototypes is how long will the machine run? And so we're trying to have a conversation about, it's not really runtime. You turn the key on at the beginning of the day and turn it off at the end. Right. It's more about that true operating time. Yeah. When is the machine doing work and kind of talking them through that. But from a charging standpoint, one of the things that we're doing is, is we're trying to make sure that our customers don't have to go out on their own and figure out charging on their own. Exactly. And we are lucky enough here at Caterpillar that for a long, long time, we've had our own power systems side of our dealers power systems, electric power, part of our business at Caterpillar. So we've been doing power generation and solar and microgrids and batteries in a box, you know, energy storage solutions for a long time. Yeah. We're kind of moving that knowledge into the construction space and into the spaces for the heavy equipment. One of the follow-up questions that our customers have that's been a really powerful message for us this week is, I work on a site where there's no power. So how am I gonna charge this machine, right? right. Yeah. I don't wanna run a diesel generator, obviously, and no, we don't want to. This isn't a diesel generator. This is one of our DC kind of ultra fast chargers. But what we've been talking about is you can actually use an energy storage solution. Think of it as a battery in a box. And that battery in a box, you could charge up back at your yard where you keep your equipment and move that like a portable fuel tank for electricity yeah. to the site where you're doing the work. Then all of a sudden the, the wheels start turning and the customers start saying, all right, well, I might be able to work this out if I can take power to where I need it. Yeah. So that's been a really powerful thing. And, and, it's, and there's been a lot of positive conversations about people kind of opening their eyes and saying, I think this might work with the work that I do. Yeah, you might not have, uh, you know, power to the site, but, you know, the industrial, you know, voltage 400 to whatever voltage, uh, 480 type of voltage, it's super common in shops. And if you have one of those, you could, like you said, you can charge up one of these like batteries in a box, bring those to the job site off and on like you do your fuel tanks. First time I heard anyone make that analogy yeah. with like, instead of bringing the diesel tank to the site, you're bringing the big battery that can charge up the machines. And the thing is with the battery in a box, they charge extremely fast. Like right. the discharge from battery to battery is super fast. In some of those situations, how quickly are we talking about charging with the battery in the box? Well, it all depends on the charging approach, right? So if you're using kind of lower voltage AC power, of course, it's going to take longer. So right. our typical target is, you know, we want to hit that 480 volt three phase where we can. That's going to be the most efficient. It's going to be the fastest kind of recharge rate. Some of these batteries in the boxes that are being born in the industry are actually, you could use a DC fast charger to yeah. refill them. One of the interesting things is we've been talking to customers is we could see you know, our, a lot of our customers use diesel refueling contractors. Right. The construction market's very innovative. Right. So we could see electric refueling services in the future. Absolutely. And so you, they, could, they could use these energy storage solutions, these batteries in a box to take to a site and provide that power to a customer. They only get charged for the, the energy they use off of that. Right. So we think there's gonna be a lot there, but our typical message for the machines is, we primarily wanna do low and slow charging overnight. All of these machines with the right charger is gonna be able to do that low and slow in an overnight shift. Right. And they're only gonna do that DC fast charge and really put a lot of energy in that machine quickly when they need to in, in the middle of the day when there's an opportunity. I'm down for 30 minutes for lunch. I'm down waiting on a truck. I'm down waiting on a survey or a grade checker. I'm gonna use those 30 minute blocks to do an opportunity charge, but they don't need to fill it. They don't need yeah. to top it off. They only need to add the energy to the machine to get through the balance of that day to that low and slow overnight charge. One of the things you guys have here is the tandem of solar panels yeah. with the battery in the box. This is another really cool way. So like if you wanted to be kind of, uh, you know, more independent, gathering your own energy and, and storing it, tell us what that would look like on a job site. Over the last week and a half, we've been 
generating solar power, storing it in one of those energy storage solutions, and using that solar power to charge and power our 301.9 battery electric mini excavator right. in our demos for the last week and a half. So right. two solid weeks only on green power, only on solar power. And so if a customer was using one of our smaller equipment, they could do that, right? Yeah. If they're gonna be at that site for a while, they could do that. If they're doing solar farm work, you know, a lot of times in the solar farm work, they're putting the panels up long before they make their grid attachment. So they could actually be using the, that energy storage solution to be capturing that solar from that solar farm work right. and using it to power these machines. We were talking about Mine Expo a couple of years ago and the electric uh, mining, underground mining loader that you guys unveiled and some of the charging solutions for that. I think that for me, that was kind of like an eye opener yeah. uh, moment. Like, oh wow, this is, we're further along in this than I imagined. And then getting to see these four awesome machines at Bama last year, I'm stoked that, that everybody here in the States is getting to take a look at these uh, these things and the charging solutions. Whenever I talk to kind of people about it, I, I feel like what I get back from them is that they go, oh, has that been kind of like that, the overall, that, like that we, they feel like more at ease about this whole thing a little bit. There's a progression of the conversation and that, and that conversation usually starts with, uh, you know, I don't think this will work for me. Uh -huh. And so we start to talk about, well, why is that? You know, what do you know? What do you understand? And, and typically by the time we end that conversation, they start to say, ah, this might be able to work for me. Now, right. our, our message at Caterpillar is this won't be the right fit in every part of the world, in every ambient temperature or in every application. Sure. And it's early. Battery technology will come a long way in the coming years. And so we'll be able to put it into more applications. But I've been amazed yep. because here in the States, electrification can be very politicized, it's, right? Yes. And so I've been amazed this week in how those conversations have progressed from, oh, I'm not sure to, I think we could find a way that this would work. Why are all these companies talking about electrification? We're years off, you know, customers are still by and large. I mean, they might look at this stuff at a show and go, oh, that's cute. And then, you know, whatever else. You know, these shows are all about educating, right? And showing kind of like what's possible. We'll never get to where we need to be on the electrification and the charging and the, you know, the operation time anxiety. We won't get to any of those places if we don't, you know, try to innovate and then show the stuff off, get the feedback, and then go back in and iterate some more, right? Just like when the construction industry started to integrate grade control and telematics, they were transformational, right? I mean, you can't listen to any of our demos this week without hearing yeah. about technology and grade yeah. control. This is gonna be transformative as well. Yeah. And if we don't start to learn alongside of our customers early, we'll be way behind as Caterpillar. So the approach we're trying to take is, Let's get involved now. We know not all of the tech is where we want it today. Right. Let's get involved now. Let's learn alongside of our customers. Let's help mitigate some of those risks for our customers early. Otherwise, we'll be too far behind when it's really ready. We're trying to do that is learn right alongside of our customers. Absolutely. JT, man, thank you so much hey. for taking some time to talk to us Thanks today. Thanks for coming to see us. Guys, this has been just an incredible uh, couple of shows for Caterpillar to see all these amazing machines and the charging solutions. Be sure to check them out on, uh, on cat.com and talk with your local uh, cat dealer if you want some more information about what's coming next, right? Yep, Thanks, JT. Absolutely. Appreciate Thanks. it, guys. Thanks, Check everyone. us out next time.